oxidation of methyl ketones by halophone so in that particular case the aldehyde or ketone actually uh, having one methyl group at least one methyl group attached to the carbonyl carbon and that will be oxidized in presence of the hypohalite okay and that after the reaction the uh, acid whatever that acid will be formed that have a one carbon number less as compared to the parent compound and that methyl group actually finally converted to the halophone in that case if the starting compound containing the carbon carbon double bond that will be unaffected during the reaction so reaction pattern is like that r c o c h 3 if we, if i take that where the c h 3 is attached to the carbonyl carbon now in presence of the naoox that x may be cl may be br may be i then the product will be like that r c double bonded o o n a plus c h 3 c h h 3 that is the hello form so initially i started that rcoch3 in presence of the sodium hypohalite that will be oxidized to the corresponding salt of carboxylic acid and uh, formation of hello form now if if i take that compound like that ch ch3 double bonded c h c h 3 c o c h 3 now this particular compound containing that carbon carbon double bond then h c h 3 double bonded c CH3 C double bonded O and ONA plus CH Cl3 so in that particular case it is observed that the carbon carbon double bond that is unaffected in that particular case here the CH3 this part converted to the hello form but this c double bonded o that cannot be oxidized further and oxidation only takes place in that region that is the carbonyl moiety so this is the reaction that is called the hello form reaction where a aldehyde or ketone containing at least one methyl group to the carbonyl carbon that will be oxidized but carbon number will be less as compared to the starting material and if the compound contains the carbon carbon double bond that will be unaffected after the reaction so that particular oxidation reaction of mild in presence of the mild oxidizing agent that can be summarized like that <coughs> 